Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. What we're going to be taking a look at in this video is the Sapphire R7260X 2GB graphics card. We actually have two of them, so we're going to be testing it in both a single card configuration and a crossfire configuration on an AMD APU based system. So we'll really see how the uh, crossfire scales and check out whether it's worth it to go for that kind of system. So let's take a closer look at the card itself. I'll show you the card and the cooling on it and everything before we go into benchmarks. Here we have a closer look at the Sapphire 260X, R7 260X 2 gig edition. As you can see, um, you do have a custom cooling solution on here with a uh, plastic fan shroud around the fan. You can sort of see the heat sink through here that it's a pretty heavy duty heat sink right on the GPU. And through the side, you can see the heat sink even better that it's actually got a little copper block on the bottom that's sitting on the GPU itself. So you have a very quiet fan on here. This is it runs at 1000 megahertz for the graphics core and 5000 megahertz effective for the memory that's on board, the 2 gigs of memory. It is also on a 128 bit bus. PCI Express 3.0 of course. And from this end you can sort of see the fan connector and the power connector, the six pin power connector that's required for this on top of the PCI Express PCI bus power. On the back you have inputs for DVI-I, a HDMI port which supports 3D and a display port 1.2. You also have your crossfire connector on the top there because of course you can connect two of these together like we are doing in our testing with this card. On the back of it you can see the uh, four screws that hold the, the heat sink on and you also got two screws here that help hold the plastic shroud on. This does support AMD True Audio. It also supports iFinity and of course Mantle with their newest with their newer drivers is supported as well. So what you get here is a pretty nice budget card ranging at around $100, $120 depending on what you can find and with rebates I saw it as low as $100 with the rebates uh, at the time that this is recorded and um, so you get a pretty good deal there so let's take a look at the accessories that the card comes with and then we'll show some benchmarks so what you get for accessories is a warranty information page you get a sapphire graphics card installation paperwork, a Molex to 6-pin power connector just in case you don't have a 6-pin PCI Express connector on your power supply, and you also get a DVI to VGA connector. The Sapphire registration information, driver installation CD, and a Crossfire cable that's included. As you can see from the benchmarks, the 260X performs well. All those games were run on ultra settings, and in Crossfire, we were able to get 30 frames or more with the two cards in Crossfire on ultra settings without very much issue. I didn't see any visual lag or anything in any of the games, even on the ones that were hovering right around 30 frames per second, which were a couple of them. Um, scaling worked really well with the two cards in Crossfire ranging from between 50% to 100% in scaling. So you can see that if you had $100 and $100, $120 to spend on one of these, you can get a starter in your system and then later on buy a second one to put in Crossfire. 
However, what we found is that the Crossfire is, the two of these cars in Crossfire, as performance is right in line with the performance of a 270X. So if you went ahead and purchased the 270X for $199, you can get the 4 gig version from the same manufacturer and have less issues with compatibility with the Crossfire. You'll also use the full 4 gigs of memory on the card and you'll get the same or better performance out of the system. So fortunately we can't really recommend this for a Crossfire setup so what I would recommend is if you really don't have the money to spend purchase one of these use it for a little while until you have the the rest of the money to purchase the higher end graphics card and then what you can do is you can sell the 260X to get back some of your cash and purchase a 270X for when you're ready to upgrade. Other than that the 260X from Sapphire is a great card. It has a little bit of headroom for overclocking if you wanted to do that but it also comes with the custom cooling solution that is absolutely quiet. I can't couldn't hear it over any of my other case fans or anything in my system and so you get a, a nice quality card here for a reasonable amount of money. I hope you found this video useful of course and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages. Take care.